Welcome to OET Answers. Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hi, Patricia. Thank you for your cooperation. I have completed your wound assessment. Let's start by discussing the treatment you have received so far. Can you tell me what you've done for the wound? I haven't done anything for the wound. I thought it would heal on its own. Thank you for sharing that, Patricia. It's important to understand the current situation, that this may be a concerning situation. But based on my examination, it's evident that the wound is infected. This infection could be due to improper treatment and can sometimes inadvertently introduce harmful bacteria, making the situation worse. Foreign particles like dirt and debris can also lead to infection by providing a breeding ground for harmful microorganisms. Dead tissues, if present, can serve as a food source for bacteria and make it difficult for your body to heal naturally. Don't panic. We are here to help and ensure you receive the best care. We're going to address this issue promptly. Okay, nurse, your words are reassuring. Thank you. Now, Patricia, let's discuss the next steps in your treatment plan. First of all, we need to collect swabs from the wound to identify the type of infection you have, which will help us choose the appropriate antibiotics and treatment. We'll also clean and dress the wound which will prevent foreign bodies from entering and causing further injury or infection. After cleaning, we will be able to find the current situation of your wound. Apart from this, you will be prescribed pain relief medication as required. I hope it is clear to you. Do you have any questions or concerns? Yes, my first concern is about the pain during wound dressing. I do not wish to suffer pain. Your concerns are really natural. I will clarify them to you, Patricia. Let me assure you that during the procedure, we will provide local anesthetic to minimize discomfort and pain. I assure you that the process is relatively short and should leave you feeling more comfortable once it's done. That sounds okay, but will it hurt after the anesthetic wears off? I completely understand your concern, Patricia. After the procedure, there might be some discomfort once the local anesthetic wears off. But this is usually manageable with over the counter pain relievers. Additionally, I'll provide you with instructions on how to care for the dressing, which will help minimize any discomfort and promote healing. All right, nurse. Do you have any concerns or questions about the wound dressing procedure or the pain management? No, nurse. But I still can't realize that for a small wound like this, why should I undergo a swab test? I completely understand that discussing the swab test can be a bit concerning. And I want to emphasize the importance of the swab test for you. The swab test is a critical step in your care because it helps us identify the specific type of infection you have. This is vital because different infections require different antibiotics or treatments to be effectively managed by pinpointing the exact nature of the infection. We can provide you with the most targeted and effective therapy which will help in your recovery. Now, let me share some details about the test process and results. The swab test results usually take about 5 to 7 days to come back. During this time, it's crucial that you follow the prescribed treatment plan to manage the infection and promote healing. I strongly recommend scheduling a follow-up appointment with your doctor. This appointment will give you the opportunity to discuss the test results and any necessary adjustments to your treatment plan. It's a crucial step in ensuring that we're on the right track to your recovery. Do you have any concerns that need to be addressed? No. I understand that. Before we proceed, I need your consent to start the procedure. It's a necessary step to ensure we're both on the same page. 
And are you comfortable with the plan we've discussed? Do you consent to go ahead with the wound dressing and swab test? Yes, nurse. You can proceed. Thank you for your consent, Patricia. Let's get started with the procedure. And then I'll make sure to keep you informed every step of the way. All right. That is the end of your OET speaking role play. All the best. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you for watching.